Hey YouTube, okay, today I am going to show you how to make kind of one of my favorite recipes of all time, borscht, which is a beet soup. My uh, mother was Ukrainian and I grew up having borscht and cabbage rolls, pedahe, and some other Ukrainian foods. And this is one that always stuck with me. Uh, it's a beet soup. You can make it with pork, beef, uh, or you can just make it vegetarian, no meat involved. I uh, use uh, beef broth or chicken broth. And some people, if you want to keep it vegetarian, you just use water. But anyway, if you uh, take a look here, the first picture we're looking at is the uh, chuck roast. Three pound chuck roast that we roasted in the oven for a couple of hours. It has some uh, garlic, Tony Sachery's Cajun seasoning, and rosemary sprinkled on it. It was wrapped inside of aluminum tightly so that the juices would envelop the roast. And we roasted it 350 degrees for two hours. Then uh, we also sliced it. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about every half or three quarters of an inch on the uh, meat. We sliced it and left a uh, strip on the bottom so that it would all hold together as one piece. Anyway, uh, when it's all done, we pull it apart and put it into the pot. And you can uh, just see the pulled beef in the pot there. <clears throat> and it is a large, deep pot. So that is uh, the pulled beef. And then it has two quarts of chicken stock added to it. Um, so we are chopping up a lot of beets here for this. Uh, we got, uh, I think it's six red beets here and two golden beets here. They have a little bit of a different taste to them and I do like the golden beets. They're interesting. They also change the color in the <coughs> beet soup a little bit. It makes it a little less red and maybe a little orange-ish. But you can see here we've got our cabbage, carrots, leeks, fennel, there's the red beets, there's the golden beets, mushrooms, uh, I said a whole head of garlic, didn't I? Uh, so two white onions, uh, this is three medium golden potatoes and six uh, red potatoes all peeled and diced. The beets, you uh, chop off the ends and peel those, chopping them into about half inch uh, square chunks, cubes. Uh, save the beet greens off of the beets. Um, you rinse them off and boil them, uh, just not a lot of boiling, but just enough to get them wilting and softened up a little bit. And they, uh, they look very similar to spinach or Swiss chard. Anyway, you can boil those, drain them, and then serve them with uh, some olive oil and balsamic vinegar over them. And they're very tasty, very good for you. That is what we're going to have here. That is just the uh, tray of everything all chopped up and ready to put into the pot. And that is uh, the pot full. And I added one more quart of chicken stock to the pot. And the, you can just kind of see the stock around the... You can... Stupid GoPro keeps cutting out. I don't know what it is. This stupid thing cuts out. So you can just see a little bit of beef or, or chicken broth floating around the vegetables here. So we're going to boil that with the lid on on medium heat for a little over an hour. And the uh, meat chuck roast has already been cooked, so that part is already done. And we will uh, just let uh, time take its course and boil it away. So then, after you're done boiling for an hour, you add a pint of cream. 
and that is what the pot will look like after you are done uh, you got your beets here these are the golden beets these are the red beets uh, cabbage and uh, all the other goodness that's mixed up in there so the uh, soup is one of my favorites uh, it's a simple recipe it's just kind of a lot of peeling chopping dicing and uh, putting things into a big pot and then walking away from it very simple to make very good for you and um, I hope that you will enjoy it so let us proceed with the video here and uh, we'll just put it together and see how it goes um, hope you enjoy thanks for watching Okay, people, so we are making a pot of borscht, which is more or less beet stew. And what we have in the pot is we have a three-pound chuck roast that we roasted in the oven for two hours, wrapped in foil with uh, some Tony's Cajun seasoning, rosemary, garlic on it, and the roast was sliced almost all the way through at about uh, half inch, uh, three quarter inch intervals. So that roasted in the oven for just about two hours and then we let it rest. Then we took the roast and it was already cut so then we pulled it and we have all the um, roast drippings in here. Pulled sections in the pot here so you see how that pulled apart very nicely so then what we have is two quarts of chicken broth that we've added to this deep big pot and so here's what we've got here we have half of a red cabbage this is a um uh let me check and make sure what that is hang on These are leeks, and so we have one leek, about an inch and a quarter diameter, and maybe seven, eight inches long, chopped a quarter inch thick. This here is fennel. Looks kind of like celery, but we chopped that up. Uh, these are the carrots. Uh, brown mushrooms. This here is one whole head of garlic. This is four red beets. Over here we have two gold beets. Then over here we have three yellow potatoes and five red potatoes. Two onions. And so that takes care of all of our vegetables that are going in there. And then also we put in uh, one package of dill. Um, took off the stems and put all the... Uh, little leafies into it. So now we are going to start putting our stuff into the pot. And uh, hopefully it'll fit. I know I'm pushing my luck here. But everything should uh, fit tightly into this pot. So let me uh, pause the video here for a second and in the magic of television I will have all this stuff in the pot here momentarily. Okay, so you can see everything that was in the tray has fit into the pot and I added one more quart of chicken broth you can see that the broth is just about to the top. So now, this will have to boil for uh, about an hour or so, and it will be ready. And to serve it, we will put in a pint of heavy cream, and uh, you can serve it with a dollop of sour cream if you want to. But this uh, will be a really good pot of borscht. So we'll get the finished results shortly. Okay, so it has been about an hour and a half and we've been uh, 
churning away, boiling away here on medium heat. So we are just about done. Everything is cooked and we are going to add our pint of cream into the borscht. It's kind of an optional thing. If you don't want the cream, you can just leave it the way it is. So you just stir that on through. And let me get a quick taste here. Oh boy, that is good. Okay, so that is it. That is how you make a delicious pot of borscht. And I'm gonna serve myself up a little bit here in just a minute and I will show you how we do that. Hang on. Okay, so to serve it up, you get yourself your ladle. And you just drop the ladle on down there, give it a little stir, and scoop yourself up some beets and broth. So there's that. little dollop of sour cream and that is how you have it at least that's the way that I was brought up to have it by my mother so okay there you go borscht with red beets gold beets yellow potatoes red potatoes two onions about eight brown medium mushrooms sliced up into cubes, a um, oh, what the heck was that, a, uh, here, let me grab the name of that in just a second, a leek, fennel, carrots, a whole head of garlic, and half of a head of red cabbage and then some dill you got to get dill in there that's the whole thing get the dill in there so anyway it is a very very tasty thing a lot of vegetables very good for you and also three pounds of meat in this case a chuck roast roasted until it was very very tender and we could pull it apart and three quarts of chicken broth or beef broth or you could just use water too okay all right thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode of iron truck Amber chef making some borscht and we will see you on the next video thanks for watching all right, so the borscht is done, and we added a uh, pint of heavy whipping cream, and this is how we serve it over here. We have a bowl, and then you put in yourself a dollop of sour cream, however you like it, uh, with or without, it's optional. And then we try ourselves a little bite. Mmm. That is so good. And then as the uh, borscht sits, the longer it sits, the more the flavors kind of co-mingle together. And the flavor just keeps getting better and better. So this could be a redder borscht, except for I used two golden beets instead of... Uh, red beets so we're two beets shy and uh, 
two red beets shy but two gold beets heavy and so it's not quite as red as it would normally be but there you go it is one of my favorites I only make it once in a while but it sure is a treat so that was three pounds of a chuck roast sliced and pulled apart and put into the soup and then we have four red beets two gold beets three medium yellow potatoes six red potatoes i believe and then we have a leek about a inch and a quarter leek and about seven or so inches of that chopped up quarter inch wide and just left in rings and then we have two white onions uh, what else? Uh, we've got eight mushrooms, the medium-sized uh, brown mushrooms, and they are chopped into little cubes. And we have carrots are cut up into there. A whole head of garlic. And then we have a bunch of dill. You have to have dill in your borscht. It's one of the uh, flavors that makes borscht borscht. And then there's also some uh, fennel we put fennel in there it kind of looks like a, a little bit like celery and it has a licorice kind of smell to it popular in Indian cooking and what else I think that covers everything half of a head of red cabbage and that was chopped up into like a inch uh, uh, strips uh, sliced and sliced and sliced so anyway um, yeah quite delicious I highly recommend it easy recipe okay so that ends of this exciting episode of iron truck hamper chef home kitchen edition and today's dinner was borscht an authentic recipe improved upon by me from that that my mother used to use okay and to serve it just put it in a bowl a dollop of sour cream and you are in borscht heaven all right thanks for watching see you on the next video and uh, please do subscribe if you want to catch more of these videos thanks for watching okay it is time to put the borscht into containers and put it into the fridge but you can see that it has set for a couple hours and it is a little more reddish now and it is so tasty I can hardly stand it I could eat this entire pot tonight if I um, didn't exercise control and I'm probably gonna have to fight off my sister tomorrow because she's a big cooking fanatic herself And I know that she's going to want some. So, okay. i got to put this away and go to bed. It's late.